Hey, it's Cobra here at MaddenGuides.com, and for this Madden Plays video breakdown, we're going to take a look at a play that's called Gun Tray Y Flex SE Corner or Split In Corner. This particular play has a built in concept built into it, and we're going to take a look at that and we're going to show you that it's a play that you can run, or a, at least a passing concept that you can run to attack two deep type or two high safety looks that you'll find in the game this year and it's uh it's pretty standard you'll find this you know you'll find this particular uh play or at least this concept in a lot of different playbooks so hopefully when you walk away from this it'll kind of give you an idea how it works and what you can do with it so let's go ahead and take a look at the playbooks so you guys can see the play art and all that that i'm going to use as far as from the actual playbooks that we're using so as i've already mentioned we're going to go ahead and use this play here from the uh, gun tray y flex called se corner You'll find us out of the Broncos playbook. You'll notice that the concept is called Smash. I think that's kind of a generic name for this because what it's actually called is called Seven Ends. And the reason it's called Seven Ends is because you got those two outside receivers on the left, both running in routes. And then on the uh, left side, as far as the defense goes, we're going to go ahead and start off this particular defense here. This is a cover two defense called Cover Two Hard Flat. You'll find us out of the dime rush out of the Raiders playbook if you're following along. So let's go ahead and get on the field, take a look at it, and then we'll go from there and we'll just show you how this particular uh, play works. So as you're looking at it, as I've already mentioned, the three receivers that we're really going to focus in on with this particular concept are going to be these three receivers over here towards your left as you look at your screen. Those are the three that I want to go ahead and focus in on for the most part for this particular play, although we will talk about the halfback in just a bit. So the outside receiver runs this route right here, which is that in route as you're looking on your screen. And then you're also going to have the other inside receiver to him. He's also going to run an in route. So there's where you get your double ends. You get two receivers running those uh, seven, uh, seven routes, if you want to call them that. And that's why I call it that's why it's called seven ends. And then on the outs, or excuse me, to the inside of those receivers, you've got the slot receiver. Now, on the play art, it says split in, so we'll call him the split in, if you will, but he's really, I just call him the inside slot receiver. He's the play's primary receiver, and he runs his corner route. All right, so those are the three receivers you really want to focus in on. I will just briefly mention the other two receivers here. You've got this guy lined up over here, and then he runs basically a more or less a corner post. And then you have the uh, running back out of the backfield, and then he runs more or less an out route deep down the field and over there. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead and look at the defense I already mentioned to you. Just going to do it real quick for you. Again, this is a cover two type look. You can see as you look at your screen, you've got two safeties playing too deep, so you know this is a too deep look. And that's what you got on your screen as you look across there. So anytime you got a too high safety look, you know that this play is probably going to work. It's just a matter of who to throw to based on two uh, defenders that you really want to pay attention to, which are going to be this guy right here and this guy right here. Those are the ones that are going to tell you, once you, t once you def define after the ball snap, obviously before the snap, if you read cover two, you still want to look at those safeties right when the ball snap and see if they split out wide. Because as long as they're splitting out wide and you don't get some kind of rotation, then you know it's going to be covered too. And then you know you got this. Then you want to go over here and look at those two defenders. Um, what's nice about this particular play is it's most of the, for the most part, as you're reading this, you're going to be looking in this direction over here. So you're not having to really focus too much on that side. You're really focusing on the left. So that kind of makes it a little bit easier. If you're having a hard time reading the whole field, a lot of quarterbacks, uh, especially high school quarterbacks, they a lot of times they look for one side of the field and that's what they start off with and they try to keep it simple for the quarterback and this is a good example of that all right so what i want to do is i want to go ahead and run this and one of the things you're going to see here is with this particular defense you're going to find that this corner plays the hard flat and that should as soon as you snap the ball and you like i said look at the safety and you see them splitting out wide then go look at that corner see what he does if he does comes up such as that then that's going to be wide open. As soon as you see that, that should just tell you, ding, 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 that receiver is the guy you want to look for. I mean, that's basically how easy it is. You just got to read that corner and see what he does. And if he does what I just showed, such as on the screen here, like, for example, once the ball snap, I'm going to go ahead and snap it here. Now, my first thing is, as soon as I snap it, one of the things you want to do is you want to go ahead and read these safeties quickly and see if they split out wide. As soon as they're splitting out wide, work your way over here. Look at this defender right here. If he comes up, such as what I'm showing on the screen here, if he comes up, then you know immediately 
you're going to have the primary receiver on this corner route open going when he breaks towards the corner. So you should just go ahead and just really just fo- focus in on that because you're going to get him open. And you're going to be able to throw that deep ball down the field. Now, one of the things I will suggest, because there is still a safety play in the deep area here, this, in this case here, when you're making this throw, uh, one of the things I definitely would suggest doing is throwing it kind of at the hard left position, maybe at the 9 or 10 o'clock position. More likely the 9. I think the 9 o'clock on your controller would be the better option. And then you'll end up completing most of the time right in there. Now, if we rewind this a little bit, let's be patient a little bit on this because you can still get those other guys open, but maybe those aren't the, obviously not the best options, in my opinion, because you can get that guy right there as he comes across. If you want, but you're going to pick up more yards by looking to throw deep down the field. Something else that I want to mention over here, and I talked about the halfback with this particular play. I, he kind of gets in the way, in my opinion. In this case, he sits. I know he's, he's got an option route, so what he really has, and I didn't really point that out to you. But he has the option here of doing this, or he has the option of continuing his route and running that out route based on the coverages. One of the things I prefer to do with him is just to get him out of the way. Just put him on a flat route over to the right or a swing route over to the right. That will give you another option, too, to throw to just in case that maybe they blitz and you got to get rid of the ball real quick. You can always just dump it off to him. So let's go ahead and look at this one more time. I'm just going to go ahead and throw to one of the inside receivers as they come across. And that's usually what you're going to find for a lot of cases. Now, if they have more hook zone defenders that are covering that short middle of the field, that's going to be a lot more difficult to make that throw in one I'm showing here on the screen. So keep that in mind. So that's the one thing on that. Let's go into another defense here. Let's go into let's go into Tampa 2. I want to show you this real quick. So there's Tampa 2. And again, we're going to go ahead and read. Let's go ahead and read that corner. Now, read the safeties. I'm just going to let the ball go ahead and get sacked. I don't care. I just want to show you something on this as you're watching this. Watch this over here towards your left. And again, this time it's a lot different than what we just saw. Now, I'm not saying you can't throw it on that corner route, but see how he's sinking back, and that's going to make it a little bit more difficult to make this throw. So what you really want to do is you really want to look to, go back to the inside and work your way to the inside and look for one of these guys to throw to if you see the safety or excuse me, this corner sinking back. You can try to make that throw, but that's going to be a lot more. You ain't going to have that same real estate that I showed earlier. So keep that in mind. You just want to watch that corner. If he's sinking, forget about it. I probably wouldn't make that throw. I just worked my way under here. All right, so that's where you probably want to go with the ball. But let's talk about this. Let's go back with the other thing that I talked about. Let's go ahead and audible back into the uh, Tampa 2. Let's go ahead and take a look at make sure we got the Tampa 2. I want to make sure we got that defense there. Okay, there we go with that. And I went ahead and hot routed the uh, the halfback on a swing route over here. Uh, I can't get that one I want to show you here. There he is. All right, so let's go ahead and run the same thing again. And this time, I think what you really got to do with this, you just got to look to dump it down to the middle. Now, I want to add one last thing to this against Tampa 2. If you see your opponent runs a lot of Tampa 2 type defenses, we talked about the halfback earlier. What you can do is you can motion him to the left and hot route him on a swing route to the left. Let's go ahead and show you what it does against Tampa 2. And you're going to find that I want you guys to concentrate on this defender right here. Watch what he does this time. So he's going to look, at least for a split second, but you're still going to get that option over to the throw. He may not go down on there. Maybe you're kind of hoping that he goes down, but at least you got him out. You know, you got this guy going over here, and you still have that option to go ahead and throw to the running back as well if you want to, if he doesn't go down. So you got that right open. So you got a couple different options you can throw to. Just know if that safety, if that safety, or excuse me, if that corner drops back to take away the corner route, then you got to go underneath to one of these two receivers that are running the in routes. Or if you did the other case, what I just did with the halfback, let's go ahead and audible one more time. If you're going to go ahead and motion him, then you also got the halfback as possibly another option. Let's go ahead and just throw it to the halfback as well this time. And you can always throw to the halfback if you want and try to pick up some yardage or try to throw a little quicker than what I just did there. So that's really what I want to show with this particular play. There's certainly some options you can throw to that um, this particular concept, the seven inch concept, can uh, attack. And the good thing is it does work in Madden, so that's nice. It's nice to see that a concept that's supposed to work against too high looks works. Let's look at one last thing. I've been showing you too high. Let's run this against a cover four as well. So let's go ahead and show that to you. 
because I want to show you this that'll work this as well against a cover four type defense. So let's run. Uh, let's just go ahead and run palms. And even though it's, I wouldn't call this, I mean, this is a cover four. Let's just go ahead and look at it. And I'll show you what it does as far as on your screen. And then we'll run that one list one last time. Then we'll get out of this video breakdown. So, again, it's the SC corner play out of the Broncos playbook. So, let's go ahead and look at it. And so, what you're probably going to look to do is you're going to have to kind of wait and hopefully you get somebody open as they come across. As you go back and look, the cover four, even though this is a two deep look, as far as the safety's playing uh, too, too deep high, you still can look to the inside. See, I could have threw it right here if I wanted to. I'm probably not going to hit this route as well, I suppose, if I wanted to go there, because if you look, technically against the palms, you can still make this throw if you wanted to, where you could look deep down the field and hit this guy as well. So you can wait and look for one of these guys. The other option, let's go back here one more time with this against uh, cover two, uh, against cover four palms. Let's motion him over. And you can see on your screen, there it is. Here's the setup again that I showed. I'm going to go ahead and this time and dump it underneath. There's nothing there that's open deep, so I'm just going to try to dump it underneath there. I didn't like what I saw. Let's go ahead and run it one more time here and look at the cover four palms. The cover four palms actually took that away more than I would thought it would have done. But let's go ahead and run it one more time. Again, this is cover four palms. And then this time, you get him open. And the reason he's open this time is because if we run this, let's go run this play one more time without putting a half back in motion. And watch what happens here. See, it takes that away. But then you should have, if you don't motion the half back and don't put him on a swing route towards the left, like I did earlier, then you should have, if you see that uh, outside corner go to the inside, you should have him open. So you kind of got to watch again. It all depends on how you set this up because. By just motioning this uh, running back over, it took away some of the stuff I wanted to do with this particular play just by this simple little thing. So you got to be careful about the motion and what you're doing with the motion here. I guess that's kind of what I wanted to show. But I still had other guys open, and, and you still picked up a nice yard there. Look how many yards I picked up there. It was a little bit, you know, a few yards. But at any rate, that's kind of what I want to show. Or the other option, as I talked about earlier, just putting him on a swing route and don't even bother, bother you know, hot routing him and motion him to the left. Just go with this look. And again, and just watch that corner. If he goes to the inside or sinks down and covers, then you should have that. So at any rate, this is a play I want to show. Mainly, the main thing I really wanted to, you guys to take away from this one is the concept and then also the uh, coverages you can run this against in particular cover two because that's really what it's designed to is a cover two type zone. Um, basically, you're just reading the corner. If he covers the flat, then you look for the corner route. If he sinks back, then you look for one of the two receivers that are running the in routes and that's kind of where i really wanted you guys to take away from this particular breakdown hey madden gamers if you enjoy this madden video or any other video please subscribe to the madden guides youtube channel and as always thanks for watching and for your support